Let me show you how to set up Twitch alerts just like this for your channel. This will work for OBS Studio, Streamlabs, Twitch Studio, wherever. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is head over to our Twitch channel. And by the way, if you have any streaming related questions, feel free to ask me live over on Twitch every Monday. But once we're logged in, we'll go to the top right corner, click our icon, and then we can click on Creator Dashboard. Then from here, we'll go to the left-hand side where it says Alerts, so we'll click that. And then we're going to click on this purple box that says Create Alert Box. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Twitch Alerts and then click Create. You can ignore all these other boxes that we have here. They don't matter. But what we're going to do is go to our Twitch Alerts box that we created and then click Edit Alerts. Now you'll see our alert dashboard, which can be really confusing because there's a lot of stuff on the screen, but I'll make it really easy for you. Because who likes to do hard things? Wait, that didn't sound right. But before we dive into this dashboard, let's actually take a look at some fun stuff first. And that's taking a look at all these fun different alert packages from today sponsor own.tv which I'll leave linked down below but if you go to the very top and then go to their alerts tab and then click on twitch alerts you'll see that they got hundreds of different alert packages to pick from and you can simply just click on a package and then you can preview the alert on the left hand side by clicking the other image you'll see that alert animation play and you'll be able to decide if these are the right alerts for you they also got a bunch of packages that come with literally everything including the alerts too so you can check those out as well and then you can use coupon code cpaws for 50 percent off your purchase so if you want to get some cool alerts for your channel, I'll leave this link down below. So coming back over to the Twitch alerts dashboard, we can see that on the very left hand side, we have our actual Twitch settings, which we don't have to worry about right now. But next to that, we have all of our different variants. Now, these are the different types of alerts. So for example, the follows tab will have your follower alerts. Your subscriptions tab will have all of your subscription alerts. If you're a Twitch affiliate and people sub to you, same thing for gifted subscriptions, cheering as well with people donate bits. You can go ahead and change those. But the cool thing about using the Twitch alerts dashboard is that they actually have alerts for charity events, hype trains, channel points, and goals, which aren't usually available on a lot of other alert systems. Now, by default, all of these are going to be enabled, as you can see, indicated by these little purple buttons. Well, let's actually start trying some of this stuff out. We'll start with the follows since everybody can have a new follower. So as you can see, we have one follower variant. This is enabled, so we'll simply click on this to be able to change the settings on the right hand side. So by default, if we click this preview alert at the top, so we'll click that, it's going to play this animation and this really loud sound. So I'm going to turn that down on my end so I don't blow my dang eardrums out again. And then we can go and customize everything on the right hand side. So we can start on the right hand side with the general settings and then you can change the name if you want the alert condition is going to be what happens in order to trigger this alert so for example any new follower to the channel is going to trigger this alert however when we get to things like subscriptions the alert condition will change to whether they've been subbed for one month two month three month and you'll be able to customize it further like that however for followers it's just going to remain this then you can change how long it lasts for which i'm not going to make that joke again but my boys, you know what I'm talking about. By the way, if this video has been helpful to you so far, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends more of me to you. For the next option, if you're a computer nerd and you know how to customize HTML or CSS, then you're able to. However, if you have no idea what the heck just came out of my mouth, then don't worry about it. Then conveniently behind my webcam, we got some more settings. We can change the animation of how it goes in and out on the screen. So right now it's just fading in and out whenever we run this preview. So I'm gonna preview the alert with the button again it's gonna fade in and then it's gonna fade out afterwards so if you wanted it to let's say I don't know slide up and then if you wanted to zoom out and we can do that but make sure we save the changes in the top right corner and then we can preview that alert again so it should slide up in there just like how we did that there that's a weird way of saying that and if we give it a couple seconds we got to wait that 10 seconds it's going to zoom out for its little exit appearance just like that. So personally, I'm gonna change the duration to about half that, maybe five seconds. So that way it just goes a little bit faster, just a little quick in and out, if you know what I mean. So moving on to the next section, we have the layout settings, which just is basically going to change where the alert is placed in contrast to the actual text. So right now the alert is above our text, but if we wanted to have the alert below the text, then you can have it there. 
or you can have it over the alert, which wouldn't be great in this instance, unless you change the font color, which we can do in just a sec. Settle down there, bud, we're getting to it. Or you can have it to the side on one side, or you can have it to the other side. So whichever one floats your boat, feel free to pick that one. You can also mess with the background settings, but I like how transparent this is, so that's pretty cool. Also, if it isn't transparent, and so it has a background, you can change the rounded corners. So if I just change the background to, I don't know, maybe red, just for instance, and I'm gonna change the opacity, so how clear it is to 100. So basically it's not clear at all. And then you have the rounded corners here, but if I take those off, they're not rounded. And then you can have a drop shadow, which honestly really doesn't do that much. So you can mess with that if you'd like. You can also mess with the padding settings, which basically just affects how it appears on the screen. So you can just kind of mess with all those. I'm gonna change it back to transparent. The background color really doesn't matter if you have the opacity set to zero because that just makes it transparent if it has that transparency already. Is that making sense a little bit? I hope so. If not, come ask me over on the Twitch live stream I mentioned earlier. Moving on to the next section, we're gonna look at the text to speech. And basically we're just going to be able to edit the message. So username just followed, or if you want to change it to join the club, I don't know what your community is or what you want it to be, but you can feel free to customize the little greeting message on the screen right there. You can also adjust the font. You can adjust bold. You can adjust how large it is without having to take any additional supplements. You can simply just click on it and it'll get larger if you choose the option from the list. Then you can change the text layout where it appears on the screen. I feel like you definitely want to have it under. I feel like, I don't know, the other ones kind of look stupid, but that's just me. <laughs> And you can change the accent color, so AKA their username in this instance, and you can change the text color of the one that follows it. So if you wanna change the colors, self-explanatory, need I say more? Then you could also have text-to-speech. So if you want it to read out that message using AI voices, then you can have this enabled. You can also preview the different voices and the different languages using this list. So I don't know, let's check out Geraint from Wales. I'm sure I just butchered that. So anyone from Wales, correct me in the comments. Then you can adjust the volume and preview it with this little play button. I'm Geraint. All right, well, I definitely messed that up. Let's go back to, uh, let's do Nicole from Australia. Hi there, my name is Nicole. Ooh, that sounds nice. We're gonna go with that one. Then if you wanna have a delay for whatever reason, you can put a delay in seconds with 10 being the max. So I feel like this is pretty good for our text-to-speech setting. So let's move on to the visuals and sound, probably the best and most fun part of the alerts. So because Twitch doesn't want people uploading a bunch of graphic images that violates their TOS, you have to link your phone number in your Twitch settings. So go to your account in the top right corner and then go into the settings portion, the account settings, and you should be able to add a phone number. If you've already added a phone number, such as your boy, because I'm responsible adult, then you can go and click the acknowledge button here, like I did there. It is now acknowledged, thus giving us permission to upload new files and images and sounds for our alerts. So since I grabbed some alerts over on own.tv, the sponsor from earlier, which you can check that out once again in the link down in the description, I'm gonna click on the upload file button. And since I bought the overlay package that comes with literally everything, including the alerts, I have all of these files, but I'm just gonna focus on the alerts and the sounds for now for the alerts. So I'm gonna click on animated alerts. And I'm gonna find the one that says follower which is this one, so I'm gonna double click. It's gonna upload it to our library. Oh God, I can't talk. It's gonna upload it to our library, and boom, just like that, beautiful. However, you notice that it's not lining up with that. So in order to fix that, what we're gonna do is one, I'm gonna make this a little larger, maybe like 75 would be cool if I can get it there, beautiful. And then we're gonna scroll back up to that layout option, so click layout. I'm gonna put it over the alert, beautiful, just like that. So that looks really clean if you ask me. But if you noticed, if I preview the alert now, it's gonna play the old sound because we haven't swapped it out yet. But yo, that actually looks kind of good. So now that it appears over, we can preview the alert and it's gonna slide in with our little alert, looking Next good, looking cooler. clean. I like that so far. So we'll scroll back down. You can adjust the scale, AKA how large it is and the volume here. And then I wanna switch out the sound alert because that's not the one that matches it. So I'm gonna upload our sound file which will be under the alert sounds folder we got from owned. So I'm gonna click on the follow one that's the WAV file because if you use MP3, sometimes there's a small delay when it plays things. So I would just recommend using the WAV if you have the option, of course, otherwise MP3 is fine too. So now if I preview the alert, but we're gonna save changes first. Always remember to save your changes, guys. That's a life lesson for you. But we're gonna preview the alert with that button. 
And we got that fun little sound. That, wow, that's really long. I don't know if I like that. Wow, that was really, really long. So if you want to have that, we'd have to go up. Got to change the duration up higher to how long that audio file is. But honestly, that's too long for my liking. So I'm going to go to the sound library, which you can upload your own sounds if you download them from the internet, like myinstance.com or however you get your sound effects. I believe there should be a couple default ones like Vortex. So I'm just gonna go, let's try, uh, I don't know, let's try Level Up. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna click it and click Add to Alert. Then I'm going to preview the alert. Give it a sec. I think that's 10 times better. It's way less obnoxious, so I'm gonna rock with that. So I'm gonna save my changes. By the way, if you can't afford these alerts, you also have a couple of free options. If you go to the image library, you can actually go through and there's a bunch of different free options that you can feel free to choose from if you want. So moving on to the next section are celebrations, which are relatively new and they're actually really cool. The cool thing about celebrations is that they actually go over your stream, over your chat, or over everywhere. So if you turn on celebrations, you can choose the effects. So you can have a flamethrower, a uh, firework or rain. You can choose how high the intensity is. So light, moderate or extreme. And basically what happens is it's just going to spread emojis all over your screen or over your video, over your chat or everywhere, depending on which option you choose. You can't really preview that sort of stuff. So I'll just give you an example from their little blog page. So this is an example of how the celebrations look everywhere since it's over your stream, over your chat, it's everywhere. So if you just wanted to have them over your chat, you could or over your stream, but this is kind of what it looks like. So depending on your style, you can feel free to have them on or off. Though if you do have them on, I would only recommend having them on light for followers. But if you have something like gifted a sub or gifted 100 subs, then you could change that bad boy to extreme because that's some extreme hype and generosity. So why not celebrate it, right? See what I did there with the extreme and the sub? Never mind. Below that, we have the danger zone, which is basically you're just going to delete the whole thing. So if you hate your life and you want to redo everything you just did, then click that. Otherwise, don't click it. Just, just don't do it. Don't do it. Anyways, now that we have our follow alert all set up, we can click save changes and we have our follow alert all done. So moving on really quick, we have subscriptions. If you're a Twitch affiliate, you're able to get subs. So you can go in and adjust all of your different subs alerts for, you know, prime subscription, a resub or a new subscriber. They already have defaults in there. So you can go through and basically just do exactly the same thing we did before. Though the cool part is for resubs, you can actually go into the settings on the right after you've clicked on resub. You can have the resub message if you wanna have them have a message that they can add to the alert. Show them some respect for subbing to you more than once. You can have the options for that here. You can also have it say the resub message as well. But the cool part is they have viewer interactivity for the resub. So if you click on the edit viewer interactivity, they can choose an image and a sound specifically for their resub alert and they can customize it to their pleasing. So what you can do is turn this on and turn this on and they'll be able to choose between whatever you have in here. So you can upload more, pick more from the asset library. All you have to do is click save changes and have these enabled. Then we go back to the alerts editor with that little button. I believe it is under visuals and sound. Then you can see viewers choose image for their resubs is enabled. So that's a neat little feature that a lot of other alert boxes don't have. So moving on, we also have gifted subscriptions. So you can feel free to mess with those. We got bits. You can also add variants. So if we want to add at least one bit has been cheered, it's going to trigger this alert. However, let's say we want to have a different alert. If they cheer 100 or more, it'll change the alert setting. So add our new cheer. We're going to go up to the general settings. We're going to change this to cheer, let's say 100 plus. And then the alert condition is cheered at least and then bits 100. So if they cheer at least 100 bits, then it'll trigger this alert. So you can go in and customize the alert image and just change it all up. And then when you're done, you can click save changes. So if someone cheers between 100 and 90 or 1 to bits to 99 bits, geez, I can't talk, it'll trigger this. And if they cheer 100 bits or more, it'll trigger this one. I know I didn't change it, but I'm trying to keep this short for you guys because I'm lazy. So just pretend this one's different for time's sake. So now for the fun part, now that we've customized and enabled all the alerts that we'd like to have on our channel, 
you gotta do a couple more steps, and but they're really easy steps, so don't worry. The first step is checking out my new website, cpausemusic.com. You can grab my free streamers cheat sheet here. You can also check out my streaming tips email sign up where you get free emails about new streaming tips that I found. And if you want your hand held on how to literally start a Twitch channel from scratch, or you know someone that wants to start Twitch streaming, I have an entire course on how to build a Twitch channel from scratch, the basics, how to grow your channel, how to make money, all the equipment, monetization, literally everything in this compact course. So feel free to check that out. But once we're ready to actually use these alerts, what we're going to do is go into the bottom right corner. You see this browser source URL? We're gonna click that copy button in the bottom right corner, okay? So once we have that copied up, we're gonna go into our streaming software. So if you use OBS Studio, open that. You use Streamlabs, open that. Use Twitch Studio, open that. So once you're in your streaming software, you're gonna go to wherever you have your sources or your layout or whatever, any place you can add a new source. So you're gonna click the add a new source button. Then you're gonna add a new browser source, okay? So browser source, we'll call this one Twitch Alerts. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna paste in that URL that we just got and we're gonna click OK. So this, this box right here is where our Twitch alerts are going to pop up. You can adjust the size using the corners to make it larger or smaller. So put it wherever your little heart desires. I'm gonna put it right here. And now I'm gonna pull these bad boys up side by side and we're gonna click that send test alert button, not preview alert. We're gonna do send test alert. I'm gonna click on whatever alert I wanna try. So let's do that new follow that we did. So we're gonna click send test alert and we're gonna watch this little box. And boom, there you go. You got the send test alert option there. However, you notice no audio there. What's going on with that? Well, we're gonna double click on our alert source. We're gonna control audio via OBS. If you're not getting the sound, if you're getting the sound, then don't worry about it. But if you're not, Streamlabs should have something similar called that, not exactly control audio via OBS, but it's very similar in wording. I forgot what it is, but turn that on, click okay. It's gonna add a little audio mixing source. So you can see we now have Twitch alerts right here. So we're gonna run that bad boy again. We're gonna send test alert, watch this. Boom, we got our audio right there. However, I didn't hear it through my ears. So if that's the case, we're gonna go into your audio mixer, click this, advanced audio properties. It's also in Streamlabs as well. So advanced audio properties. We're gonna find that Twitch alerts, little browser source right there. So what we're gonna do now, instead of having monitor off, we're gonna do monitor and output because we wanna monitor through our ears. We're gonna monitor the sound so we can hear it and output it to Twitch. So Twitch can also hear it. So monitor and output, click close. And then now we're gonna send test alert. We are gonna hear it. I can now hear it through my speakers and my headphones well, and Twitch can also alert. hear it as well. So now you can watch this super helpful video to level up your stream. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.